Operation Compass was the first big Allied military operation of the Western Desert Campaign during World War II. British and other Commonwealth forces attacked Italian forces in western Egypt and Cyrenaica, the eastern province of Libya, from December 1940 to February 1941, with great success. The Western Desert Force with about 30,000 men, advanced from Massour Matru in Egypt on a five-day raid against the Italian positions of the 10th Army, which had about 150,000 men in fortified posts around Sidi Barani and in Cyrenaica. The 10th Army was swiftly defeated and the British prolonged the operation to pursue the remnants of the 10th Army to Bader Fomm and El Aguila on the Gulf of Sirte. The British took 138,000 Italian and Libyan prisoners, hundreds of tanks and over 1,000 guns and aircraft for a loss of 1,900 men killed and wounded, about 10% of their infantry. The British were unable to continue beyond El Aguila due to broken down and worn out vehicles and the diversion, beginning in March 1941, of the best equipped units to the Greek campaign in Operation Luster. Background 10th Army When war was declared, the 5th Army was in Tripolitania, near the western Libyan province and the 10th Army was in Cyrenaica to the east. Once the French in Tunisia no longer posed a threat to Tripolitania, units of the 5th Army were used to reinforce the 10th Army. When Governor-General of Libya Italo Balbo was killed by friendly fire, Marshal Graziani took his place. Graziani expressed doubts about the capabilities of the large non-mechanized force to defeat the British, who though smaller in numbers were motorized. After being reinforced from the 5th Army, the 10th Army controlled the equivalent of four corps with 150,000 infantry, 1,600 guns, 600 tankets and tanks and 331 aircraft. The 20th Corps had the 60th Infantry Division Sabratha and the 21st Corps had the 1st Blackshirt Division 23 Marzo, the 2nd Blackshirt Division 28 October and the 63 Infantry Division Cyrene. 22nd Corps had the 61st Infantry Division Certain 23rd Corps had the 4th Blackshirt Division 3 Genio and the 64th Infantry Division Catanzaro. The new group of Libyan divisions had the Mauleti group, the 1st Libyan division Sibyl and the 2nd Libyan division Pescatori. The only non-infantry formation was the partially motorized and lightly armored Mauleti group. The Ragrappamento Mauleti was formed at Derna on 8 July 1940, with seven Libyan motorized infantry battalions, a company of Fiat M11, 39 tanks a company of L-333 tankets, motorized artillery and supply units as the main motorized unit of the 10th Army. On 29 August, as more tanks arrived from Italy, the commander Caridella Libia was formed under the command of Colonel Valentini, with three Ragrappamento, Ragrappamento Iresca with the I-Medium Tank Battalion and the 31st, 61st and 62nd Light Tank Battalions, Ragrappamento Trivuli, with the 2 Medium Tank Battalion, Less 1 Company and the IX, XX, and LXI Light Tank Battalions and Ragrappamento Maletti with the Lux Light Tank Battalion and the remaining M11, 39 Company from the 2 Medium Tank. Battalion, Ragrappamento Maletti became part of the Regia Corpa Truppa Coloniali della Libia, with the 1st Libyan Division Sibyl and the 2nd Libyan Division Pescatori. Western Desert Force Middle East Command under General Archibald Waville had about 36,000 soldiers, 120 guns, 275 tanks and 142 aircraft. In two squadrons of Hurricanes, one of Gloucester Gladiators, three of Bristol Blenheims, three of Vickers Wellingtons and one of Bristol Bombays, about 46 fighters and 116 bombers. The British had some fast cruiser MKI, cruiser MK2 and cruiser MK3 tanks with ordnance QF2 pounder guns, which were superior to Fiat M11, 39 tanks. 
The British also had a small number of Matilda II infantry tanks that, while slow, were well armoured and also equipped with the two-pounder. The armour of the Matilda tanks could not be penetrated by Italian anti-tank guns or field guns. Border skirmishes Italy declared war on Britain and France on 10 June 1940. During the next few months there were raids and skirmishes between Italian forces in Libya and British and Commonwealth forces in Egypt. On 12 June 1940, the Mediterranean fleet bombarded Tobruk. The force included the cruisers HMS Liverpool and HMS Gloucester also exchanged fire with the Italian cruiser San Giorgio. Royal Air Force Blenheim bombers from No. 45, No. 55 and No. 211 squadrons hit the San Giorgio with one bomb. On 19 June, the British submarine HMS Parthian fired two torpedoes at San Giorgio but missed. San Giorgio's role was then to support the local anti-aircraft units and claimed 47 British aircraft shot down or damaged. San Giorgio also shot down the Savoir in March Etienne M79 aircraft carrying Italo Balbo. The Governor-General of Libya and Commander-in-Chief of Italian Forces in North Africa. Prelude. Operazione On 13 September 1940, the Italian 10th Army advanced into Egypt in Operazione. As the Italians advanced, the small British force at Solom withdrew to the main defensive position east of Massor Matru. The Italian advance was harassed by the 3rd Coldstream Guards, attached artillery and other units. After recapturing Fort Capuzzo, the Italians advanced approximately 95 kilometers in three days and on 16 September, the advance stopped at Magdalar, 16 kilometers beyond Sidi Barani. The Italians dug in and awaited reinforcements and supplies along the Via della Vittoria, an extension of the Via Balbir being built from the frontier. Five fortified camps were built around Sidi Barani from Maktala 24 km east along the coast, south to Tamar East, Tamar West and Nibiawar and so for fire on the escarpment to the southwest. British plan following the Italian advance, Wavell ordered the commander of British troops Egypt, Lieutenant General Sir Henry Maitland Wilson, to plan a limited operation to push the Italians back. Operation Compass for administrative reasons was originally planned as a five-day raid but consideration was given to continuing the operation to exploit success. On 28 November, Wavell wrote to Wilson that I do not entertain extravagant hopes of this operation but I do wish to make certain that if a big opportunity occurs we are prepared morally, mentally and administratively to use it to the fullest. Wavell the 7th support group was to observe the Italian camps on the escarpment around Sofafi to prevent the garrisons from interfering, while the rest of the division and 4th Indian division passed through the Sofafi Nibiawa gap. An Indian brigade and infantry tanks of 7th Royal Tank Regiment would attack Nibiawa from the west, as the 7th Armoured Division protected their northern flank. Once Nibiawa was captured, a 2nd Indian brigade and the 7th RTR would attack the Tamars. Selby force from the Matru garrison was to contain the enemy camp at Maktalar on the coast and the Royal Navy would bombard Maktalar and Sidi Barani. Preparations were kept secret and only a few officers knew during the training exercise held from 25-26 November, that the objectives marked out near Matru were replicas of Nibiawar and Tamar. The troops were also told that a second exercise was to follow in, did not know that the operation was real until 7 December, as they arrived at their jumping-off points. Late on 8 December, an Italian reconnaissance air crew reported that attack on Magdalar and Nibiawa was imminent but Maletti was not informed. On 9 December, the 1st Libyan Division Sibyl was at Magdalar and the 2nd Libyan Division Pescatori was at Tamar. The Maletti group was at Nibiawa and the 4th Blackshire Division 3 Genio and the headquarters of the Libyan Corps were at Sidi Barani. 
the 63rd Infantry Division Cyrene and the headquarters of 21st Corps were at Sofafi and the 64th Infantry Division Katanzaro was at BUQ BUQ. The headquarters of the 23rd Corps and the 2nd Blackshire Division 28 Ottawa were in Solom and Half Eye Pass respectively and the 62nd Infantry Division Mar Marica was at CD Omar, south of Solom. Bertie was on sick leave and Garibaldi, the 1st Blackshire Division 23 Marzo and the 10th Army headquarters were far back at Bardia. Operation Compass began on the night of 7-8 December. The Western Desert Force with the 7th Armoured Division, 4th Indian Division and the 16th Infantry Brigade advanced 113 kilometers to their start line. The RAF made attacks on Italian airfields and destroyed or damaged 29 aircraft on the ground. Selby Force with 1,800 men moved up from Matru set up a brigade of dummy tanks in the desert and reached the position southeast of Magdala by dawn on 9 December. Magdala had been bombarded by the monitor HMS Terror in the gunboat HMS Afis. C.D. Barani had been shelled by the gunboat HMS Lady Bird. Battle of the Camps Nibiawar at 5 a.m. On 9 December, a detachment of artillery commenced diversionary fire from the east on the fortified camp at Nibiawar for an hour, which was held by the Maleti group and at 7.15 a.m., the divisional artillery began a preliminary bombardment. The 11th Indian Infantry Brigade, with 7th RTR under command, attacked Nibiawar from the northwest which reconnaissance had established as the weakest sector. By 8.30 a.m., Nibiawa had been captured, Maleti had been killed in the fighting along with 818 men and 1,338 had been wounded, 2,000 Italian and Libyan soldiers were taken prisoner. Large quantities of supplies were captured for British casualties of 56 men. The Tumars The attack on Tumar West began at 1.50 p.m. after the 7th RTR had refueled and artillery had bombarded the defences for an hour. Another northwest approach was made. The tanks broke through the perimeter and were followed 20 minutes later by the infantry. The defenders held out for longer than the Nibiawa garrison but by 4 p.m., Tamar West was overrun except for the northeastern corner. The tanks moved on to Tamar East, the greater part of which was captured by nightfall. The 4th Armoured Brigade had advanced to Azizia, where the garrison of 400 men surrendered in light patrols of the 7th Hussars pushed forward to cut the road from Sidi Barani to BUQBUQ, while armoured cars of the 11th Hussars ranged further west. The tanks of 7th Armoured Brigade were held in reserve ready to intercept an Italian counter-attack. The 2nd Libyan Division lost 26 officers and 1,327 men killed, 32 officers and 804 men wounded, with the survivors being taken prisoner. Magdala unaware of the situation at the Tamars. Selby sent units to cut the western exits from Magdala but the 1st Libyan Division Sibyl filtered through and escaped. Selby force followed up the retreat as the 1st Libyan Division moved the 15 miles from Magdala to Sidi Barani and drove part of the column into sand dunes north of the coast road. Cruiser tanks of the 6th Royal Tank Regiment arrived in S and Storm and overran the Italians in the dunes at about 5.15 p.m., then joined Selby Force to continue the pursuit. The Italian defenders were caught at Sidi Barani, in a pocket 10 by 5 miles backing on to the sea. When the British attacked again at dawn on the 11th of December, mass surrenders began everywhere except at Point 90 where troops of the 2nd Libyan Division Pescatori held out for a short time, after which 2,000 troops surrendered. C.D. Barani, B.U.Q.B.U.Q. and so for Fi on 10 December, the 16th Infantry Brigade was brought forward from 4th Indian Division Reserve in with part of the 11th Indian Brigade under command, advanced in lorries to attack C.D. Barani. 
While moving across exposed ground, some casualties were incurred but with support from artillery and the 7th RTR, it was in position barring the south and southwestern exits to Sidi Barani by 1.30 p.m. The British attacked at 4 p.m., supported by the divisional artillery and the town fell by nightfall. The remains of the two Libyan divisions and the 4th Blackshire Division 3, Ganayo were trapped between the 16th Infantry Brigade and Selby Force. On the 11th of December, Selby Force and some tanks attacked an overround the 1st Libyan Division Sibel and by the evening, the 4th Blackshire Division 3 Ganayo had also surrendered. On the 11th of December, the 7th Armoured Brigade was ordered out of reserve and relieved 4th Armoured Brigade in the BUQBUQ -BUQ area to mop up and captured large numbers of men and guns. A patrol from the 7th Support Group entered Rabia and found it empty. The 63rd Division Cyrene had withdrawn from Rabia and Sofify overnight. An order to the 4th Armoured Brigade to cut them off west of Sofify arrived too late and the Italians were able to retire along the escarpment to join Italian forces at Halfire. Italian casualties were 2,184 men killed, 2,287 troops wounded and 38,000 prisoners. Exploitation over the next few days The 4th Armoured Brigade, on top of the escarpment in the 7th Armoured Brigade on the coast, attempted a pursuit but supply problems and the large number of prisoners impeded the advance. Italian forces crowded along the coast road and retreating from C.D. Barani and B.U.Q. B.U.Q. were bombarded by terror in the two gunboats, which fired on the Solom area all day and most of the night of the 11th of December. Late on 12 December, the only Italian positions left in Egypt were the approaches to Solom and the area of C.D. Omar. The Italians had lost 38,289 Italian and Libyan casualties, most taken prisoner, 73 tanks and 237 guns, against 634 British casualties. The WDF paused to reorganize and then moved quickly west along the Via della Vittoria, through Halfire Pass and recaptured Fort Capuzzo in Libya.